Hi everyone, this is Hang Zhao from Tsinghua University. Welcome to our Hex Temporal Action Localization Challenge, hosted virtually at the ActivityNet workshop in CVPR 2021. The goal of this challenge is to temporally lo localize actions in untrimmed videos. Hex stands for Human Action Clips and Segments. It is a video dataset released in 2018. The dataset consists of two parts, hex clips serves recognition, and hex segments serves detection and the localization of actions. This video dataset comes from YouTube. Hex clips is a dataset that contains 1.5 million two-second video clips from 0.5 million videos. It contains both positive and negative samples. So it is excellent for benchmarking spatial temporal feature learning. Hex segments is a dataset for action localization and detection tasks. It has accurate boundary annotations on 50K untrimmed videos. In total, there are 139 action segments annotated. This year, in Hex Challenge, we have two tracks the first track is called Supervised Learning Track. In this track, participants will use hex segments only, where the videos are carefully annotated with a complete set of temporal actions with start and end times. Now let's move on to the model performance over the years. Since we have hosted Hex Action Localization Challenge in 2019 and 2020, so we put the best performing models here. Uh, the baseline is SSN, which was proposed in 2017. And the 2019 models are the green bars. And the 2020 models are the yellow bars. And this year's challenge best performing models are the red bars. And we can see the consistent improvement of the performance over the years. Who are the winners of this year's challenge? The runner-up award of the supervised learning track goes to Hai Shen Su, Pei Qing Zhuang, Yu Kun Li, Dong Liang Wang, Wei Hao Gan, Wei Wu, Yu Qiao from SenseTime Research, SIAT SenseTime Joint Lab, and Shanghai AI Laboratory. Congratulations. And the winner, the first place, goes to Zhi Wu Qing, Xiang Wang, Zi Yuan Huang, Yu Tong Feng, Shi Wei Zhang, Jian Wen Jiang, Ming Qian Tang, Chang Xing Gao, Nong Sang from Hua Chong University of Science and Technology and Alibaba Group. They have achieved a score of mean AP of 44.29 which was impressive and state-of-the-art on our dataset. Congratulations! The second track of our challenge is called Weekly Supervised Learning Track. The participants are only allowed to use the category labels of Hex Segments dataset. The runner-up award of the weekly supervised learning track goes to Yuan Hao Jai, Le Wang, David Dorman, Jun Song Yuan from Xi'an Jiao Tong University and the State U University of New York at Buffalo. Congratulations! And the first place of the weekly supervised learning track goes to Zhi Wu Qing, Xiang Wang, Zi Yuan Huang, Yu Tong Feng, Shi Wei Zhang, Jian Wen Jiang, Ming Qian Tang, Chang Xing Gao, Nong Sang from Hua Chong University of Science and Technology and Alibaba Group. They are also the winner of the supervised learning track. Very impressive performance. Congratulations. We also have a co-winner for the weekly supervised learning track this year. Uh, the winner team used a slightly different setting with extra annotations from Hacks Clips. 
The team is Hai Shen Su, Pei Qingzhuang, Yu Kunli, Dong Liang Wang, Wei Hao Gan, Wei Wu, Yu Qiao from SenseTime Research, SIAT SenseTime Joint Lab, and Shanghai High AI Laboratory. They are also the runner-up team of supervised learning track. Congratulations. And next comes the winner talks. Hi everyone. We are a team from Huazhong University of Science and Technology and Alibaba. It's a great honor for us to win the champ in the Hex Temple Action Localization Challenge. Let me introduce you to the methods we used in this competition. First, let me introduce our task. The goal of our task is to localize the start time and the end time of the action in the long on-chimed videos and predict the action categories. In this section, I will introduce our pipeline of temporal action localization. The input video frames are first extracted features by backbones. In our experiments, we explored the convolution-based backbones, SlowFast and CSN. In addition, we also experiment the transformer-based backbones, such as VLVIT and Timesformer, since they are impressive performance on classification task. Mm -hmm. The extracted features are encoded by local global temporal encoder, LGTE, and used to generate proposals. Our proposal generation can divide into two steps. The boundary matching network, BMN, first generate cross candidate proposals, and then we employ temporal context aggregation network, TCA Net, to further refine these proposals locations. It's worth noting that both stages can be multimodal ensemble. The confidence maps output by multiple BMNs can be averaged to reduce prediction noise. The candidate proposals can be refined by multiple TCA nights, and the refined proposals can be fused again to generate accuracy proposals. More details about BMN and the TCA net can refer to the original paper. Apart from proposal generation, the video level features are also utilized to perform video level action classification tasks. Finally, the detection results generated by fusing the refined proposals and the classification scores. Although the models we used were pre-trained on Kinetic 600 and the Kinetic 700 dataset, we still further fine-tune them on the hex dataset. In fine-tuning, we classify each clip into 201 categories, which contains 200 actions and one background. The training details for four backbones are shown in this page, due to the different properties of the networks. Their training settings are slightly different. In this page, we explore transformer-based feature for temporal action localization. Original transformer-based backbones, such as VIVIT transformer, only the class token used for action classification. And the special temporal feature sexes are redundant for classification. However, we averaged the special temporal feature sexes to special temporal feature vector and used to perform temporal action localization. It can bring likely improvement compared with class token only. We compare different features in this page. In temporal action detection table, the convolution-based backbones outperform transformer-based backbones significantly. However, in the clip level classification table, the convolution-based is worse than transformer-based. This indicates that the backbones with higher classification performance may not generate high-quality proposals. This may be guiding us to design a backbone that is more suitable for temporal action detection. In this page, 
We extract features with different uh, frame resolutions. It can be seen that high frame resolution can improve 1.5% than low resolution, since the higher resolution can reduce the spatial information loss. We show part of our submission results in this page. It's worth noting that we achieve around 42.4% in terms of MAP on validation set with a single CSN feature by combining BMN and uh, GCA-Net simply, which is around 1.7% higher than the result of 2020's multimodal ensemble. We reach around 44.3% on the test set by fusing multimodals. In this report, we explore different features, resolutions, BMN, and TCA9 for temporal action detection. And we found that the features extracted by the network with the hair classification performance may generate weak proposals. This may drive us to design a backbone that is more suitable for temporal action detection. The ablation studies for resolution prove that avoiding the loss of spatial information can effectively improve the performance of temporal action detection. This is all our report. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We are a team from Huazong University of Science and Technology and Alibaba Group. I am Xiang Wang from Huazong University of Science and Technology. It's my pleasure to give a report on CVPR Hugs Temporal Action Novelization Challenge, Weekly Supervised Learning Track. My report name is Weekly Supervised Temporal Action Novelization through Local Global Background Modeling. Weekly Supervised Temporal Action Localization Task aims at localizing and classifying all action instance in an unchained video, giving only video level category label during training stage. During the training stage, only video level category label is available. During the task stage, you need to localize and classify all action instance. Next, we introduce the metric of the task. MAP is used as a value metric where AP is calculated on each action class respectively. On the hex data set, average MAP with IOU shadow set 0 0.5 to 0 0.95 with a step 0 0.05 are used. Now we introduce the main algorithm. STP earns recognizes actions and uh, identifies a small set of key segments associated with the actions through for adaptive temporal pooling of video segments. Know that attention module generates attention weights corresponding to video features. L1 loss is replaced on this attention weight vector to enhance the sparse construct. The other one is BASNet. BASNet introduces an auxiliary class representing background, and BASNet is an asymmetrical two branch weighting share architecture. Now, we present our method as shown in the figure. The overall architecture of our local global background modding network, LGBM net. First, using a pre-trained module, we extract the clip feature for the input video, which are then fed into two branches. Both branches share local global subnet weights produce class activation sequence to predict video level labels. Note that the ground truth category of the upper branch is always one, 
and the ground shows the background the categories of the lower bunch is always zero. In the competition, we use the fast CSN, YYT, and TDN as our backbone to extract the features. Here, we introduce the local global operations. Local, we use convolutional 1D and FC layers to capture the local detail information. Global, we use LSTM, GRU, and non-local to model the long-range temporal dependence. Now, we show our detection results. We use slow fast 101, slow fast 152, CSN, TDN, and VIYT as our feature extractor. Our LGB Mnet shows stronger performance on multi different features. Finally, the example can further improve performance. Know that our example includes class activation sequence, score vision. Now, we could, could draw the following conclusions. First, it can be seen from the result of slow factor 101 and slow factor 152 that larger scale pre training and deeper model play a great role in improving performance. Second, the transformer based method, such as VIYT, generally has a slightly worse detection performance than the CSM based method, such as CSN and slow fast. It could be attributed to the loss of detailed information. Third, from the result of assemble, it can be seen that there is a complementarity between modules. Finally, my report is over. Thank you for your listening. Here to present our winner solutions of this year Hex Temporal Action Localization Challenge Weekly Supervised Learning Track. We come from Same Time Research and Shanghai AI Lab. This page shows information of our team. In this year, we participate both the Supervised Learning Track and the Weekly Supervised Learning Track. The content of this presentation is listed as follows. To begin with, I would like to introduce the problem definition of supervised learning track. Temporal action localization requires to not only precisely locate the temporal boundaries of action instances, but also accurately classify the untrain videos into specific categories. Most existing supervised measures follow a two-stage scheme, namely temporal action proposal generation and classification. Although action recognition methods have achieved impressive classification accuracy, the TAL performance is still unsatisfactory in several mainstream benchmarks. Hence, many researchers target at improving the quality of temporal action proposals, such as BSN, BMN, and BSN++. As for our motivation on this task, for existing measures, the temporal relationship is captured by stack temporal convolutions or global temporal pooling operations. However, both of these two ways cannot effectively model the temporal relationship. Besides, only the internal context or boundary context of proposals used for regression is inferior to generate proposals with precise boundaries. Our contribution has two main goals. Firstly, we design a local global temporal encoder to simultaneously capture local and global temporal relationship in a channel grouping fashion. Second, Temporal boundary regression is proposed to perform complementary and progressive boundary refinement, including local frame level boundary regression and global segment level boundary regression. Our method has two main components. The temporal encoder is employed to capture local global temporal interdependencies simultaneously through multicast self-attention. 
and the temporal boundary regression is adopted to perform frame level and segment level boundary regressions respectively. Finally, high quality proposals are obtained through complementary fusion and progressive boundary refinement. Local temporal encoder is responsible for capturing local dependencies based on local details dynamically, while the global temporal encoder is designed to model the long-term temporal dependencies of videos compared with LTE. GTE needs to aggregate global interactions for each location on a temporal dimension. The temporal boundary regressor contains two main steps the complementary regression strategy and the progressive refinement. As for the first part, the feature of one proposal is divided into three parts, the starting context, the internal context, and the ending context. The frame level regression is performed through regressing the boundary offset based on local boundary features, while the segment level regression is performed through regressing the center location offset and the duration offset of the proposals based on proposal level features. As for the progress refinement, three cascaded temporal boundary refinements are adopted for cost to find boundary refinement. In order to maximize the quality and the diversity of video features, we adopt many other ConfNet architectures present on Kinetic 700 dataset to further fine tune on HEX dataset with both modalities including ResNet 50, BN Inception, SlowFast, and Pseudo 3D Network, TIN, TSN, and the ResNet 269, which are then adopted as visual encoders for feature extraction. Table 1 illustrates the exact list of two string encoders which we adopt to extract video representations. During the training process, BMM method is adopted to generate the original candidate proposals where the output is processed by soft NMS to reduce redundant samples. Then, the top 100 proposals are selected in descending order for training. As for loss function, IOU prediction loss and position regression loss functions of proposals are adopted respectively. During the inference stage, Proposals output by BMM are directly adopted as the input of TCA net. The final confidence of proposals are obtained by reducing the BMM score and the TCA net score. Finally, soft NMS is employed to remove redundant proposals. Our experimental results of supervised learning track are listed in the following tables. Then, we continue to introduce the proper definition of weekly supervised learning track. It requires us to address the temporal action localization task using only video level class labels during the training phase. Analogous to weekly supervised object detection in images, weekly supervised temporal action localization can be regarded as a temporal version of WSOD, which aims to locate action instances using only video level class labels. A prevalent practice of WFTAL generates a one dimension class activation sequence to highlight the discriminated regions contributing to the video classification result most. As for our motivation, a high quality CAS used for temporarily locating the temporal action boundaries should process flow into properties. Firstly, CAS can completely over cover the temporal interval of target actions. Second, CAS can densely locate action instances with less missing detections. Our contributions have three main goals. Firstly, we are the first to incorporate high quality CAS generation and boundary regression into a unified framework for weekly supervised temporal action localization tasks. Second, we introduced two effective yet efficient modules to enhance the quality of CAS where the multi-dilated convolution module is used to expand local discriminated regions, while the cascaded classification module is used to further locate other potential action instances. Finally, a knowledge transfer module is introduced to run transferable knowledge between on-stream videos and stream videos to promote the classification performance on on-stream videos. Our method has three main components. Firstly, 
because Cascade Dialectic Replication Block is designed to mine more relevant regions of target actions by implementing convolutional kernels of varied dilation rates and cascading mechanism. And the boundary regression module is designed to automatically regress the accurate boundaries using the outer inner constructive laws. And the transfer learning mechanism is introduced to learn transferable knowledge between trained videos and untrained videos to promote the performance of the classification network. The cascaded dilation block includes two main submodules, namely the multi dilatic convolution modules and the cascaded classification module. The multi dilatic convolution module is aimed to augment a simple classification network with dilatic convolutions, which is promising for incorporating the surrounding compacts. And the goal of cascaded classification module is to further mine more relevant regions of target actions through a proposed online adversarial erasing mechanism to enforce two cascade classification network to locate different but complementary regions of target actions. The boundary regression module aims to learn to directly predict second boundaries based on enhanced CAS obtained above. However, Without temporal annotations for recursive-wise counterparts, it's vital to leverage other priors to provide segment-level supervision. Based on IDEO proposed in autolog method, we employ outer inner constructive loss to optimize the predictor. The boundary prediction procedure is illustrated in the above figure. Finally, let's introduce the transfer learning mechanism. The performance of video encoder pre-trained on chain videos is bound to decrease on unchained videos due to a great amount of background noise, which greatly affects the quality of CIS. To promote the classification performance of unchained videos and make full use of large-scale chain videos datasets, we introduce the transfer learning mechanism to learn transferable knowledge between chain videos and unchained videos. And we take the trim branch as a soft branch and the untrained branch as a target branch. Then we mine more informative knowledge from the stream videos to improve performance on unstream videos via knowledge transfer. Finally, the maximum mean discrepancy is utilized to measure the distance of output distribution of two branches. During the integrated training process, the standard multi-label sigmoid cost entropy loss function is computed on video level action labels to concurrently train the two cascade classifiers. And the OIC loss function for each anchor attached to the output feature maps is computed respectively. As for knowledge transfer module, the loss function is adopted as square maximum mean discrepancy. During the inference stage, three part scores are adopted, namely mean activation score, OIC score, and classification score and the soft NMS is adopted for redundant detection suppression. This page shows the visualization of our method. And finally, the experimental result is listed in the following tables. And finally, we can achieve 29.78 MAP on challenge testing set. Thanks for listening.